It's not a play, it's not a masterpiece It's not a portrait, it is stay Hey! Hi there! Uh, welcome to this video, very good click, good job And this video is a tutorial for the song Paint um, It's a song about the fading paint on the very beautiful and old monasteries of the region of Bukovina built by a certain Stefan Chenmare. And um, it's also a song about um, wishing something was bright and alive when something is fading and maybe not, not quite there anymore. But it's got a twist. Maybe it's happy at the end, maybe. Um, the song, I mean. I wrote this song, so maybe, of course, I'd say this, but I do think it's an interesting um, song to learn if you're playing the ukulele because it's a song written for the ukulele. So, so many songs that we're playing as ukas, we we're just playing the chords and strumming along to songs played on or written on different instruments, other instruments. But this one is really written for the ukulele and it's got a very uh, particular set of chords and a nice strumming and shape to it, to the whole thing. So maybe you'll enjoy learning this. And before we start, I want to extend a big thank you to the patrons mm -hmm. of the Ukulele Road Trips project and tutorials who um, also voted for this one to be um, the song of the ones I wrote to, to be studied right here, right now. As I was writing down the chords for this song, something was missing, it, was, it felt really weird writing ooh, sharp, seven, diminished, blah, 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 because the way that I wrote it was just having this here, open, second, third, open, and then going like this, open, first, third, open, and then lifting my index. So it doesn't really make sense to write all these complicated chord names. So what I'm going to show you is this, Ta -da! <laughs> um, which is how we're going to learn the song. Basically, the, there's a number on top of these things and it just means um, the first string, the G string, is open. The third one, the E string, your um, finger is on the third fret and the last one is open. And what changes is the second string. So the string of C is the one where stuff changes. And if it's O, it's open. If it's one, it's one here. If it's two, it's two here. Three, four. So it's the number of the frets really and with the other notes. So um, this is two, open, two, three, open. This is one, open, one, three, open. This is zero, 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 three, zero. Uh, three, for example, zero, three, three, zero, and four, zero, four, three, zero. So these would actually have quite complicated names. For example, this is a B7 with the uh, sixth added, um, and this would be a E minor with the fourth and blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't really matter here. What matters is just using the instrument as it is. Uh, using the open strings of the instrument and tweaking a bit and playing around with little things to make new things happen. That's the idea of the song. Also, we need an A minor 9 la, da, da, in the chorus na, da, 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 and also a C major 7 and that's very much at the end of the song. No spoilers, but maybe this will come up. So these are the chords that you need and we can start straight away with uh, the intro and just strumming this chord simply downwards for the moment. We'll have a look at the plucking in a while. And uh, it just starts like this. So two, which is O, two, one, O. One, which is O, one, three, O. And O, O, three, O. There's something very open and very, very uh, pleasant about these simple ringing chords. And the note that we're gonna sing on to start bringing the voice into this is not going to be a note that we're playing, but it's going to be a different note, which means that when the voice comes in, all of a sudden the harmonies change and the chords become new chords because there's a new note being added. And this note is going to be the open third string. So we play this one, the two, and we sing one, zero, 
back on the two. And start again. Which is this note, open third string. Zero. And back to the two. So this note is actually making this very open major sounding chord into a minor chord. But that's not important to know, it just sounds nice. And this note is also the note on which we're going to start singing. It's not a play, it's not a masterpiece. Two. It's not a play, it's not a one. Masterpiece. Open. It's not a portrait, hit a stay. Two on stay. So two, one, zero, two. Two. Just like the paintings on these one on walls. Walls they see. Zero to shine and slowly fade away. So the two and the zero, as you can see, they fall before the words, but the one was very much on the wall. Dancing, no, just on the wall. Only cold stones, I fear, is what you see. And here the chords get faster because we've had the a bit of the verse and then it speeds up because we're moving towards the chorus. Not the bright colors that I thought would be. And on the B, we're going to hold the B a very long time and there's a melody while the chords change. And again the same thing but with ah. Uh, See, we land on that same note again, the E. e. And in that mini chorus, if you will, the B, then A minor 9, e. and the voice, the note that you're singing is E. So, E, four. It's a three, I painted them with glee. And again, the What we need to have a look at, of course, is the plucking, because this song is not um, strummed, it's plucked. And the way that it's plucked is uh, like this. So I tend to not play the same thing all the time because I don't really think about what I'm doing. I just um, need, I want a constant movement. So ta pa ti pa ti pa ti pa. So there's um, no, notes almost all the time. But I've written down something standard that you can learn. And that's um, thumb, two, three, two, four, three, two, thumb, nothing, two, three, two, four, three, two, three. Thumb, two, three, two, four, three, two, thumb, two, three, two, four, three, two, three, thumb, two, three, two, four, three, two. And also you can keep it going, meaning there's not that little break in the middle and it sounds like this. And the last bit you can go So meaning there's a there's a hammer on and a pull off here on the second fret of the last string. And all the tabs are in the description if you want to really thoroughly learn this. It's quite uh, nice to be able to have the plucking on autopilot so you can then sort of do what you want with the voice. So uh, let's do the verse number two with this plucking pattern. Uh, don't hold it against me if I don't really do that plucking pattern that I gave you. I'm gonna try, but sometimes, you know, I just do whatever comes also because I'm not really focusing too much on that. I'm focusing more on the lyrics and the singing, so. Here it is. 
I'll just do the plucking pattern by itself with the change of chords. Well, that was it. Feel free to make a nicer <laughs> trill there. I didn't, mine wasn't very nice. It's not a novel, not a masterpiece. A book I wrote with care and love. Neither is it a candle lit for peace, which lights the faces from above. Stones, I fear is what you see, not the bright colors that I thought would be. So a bit of strumming there at the end, and then complete silence. <laughs> and then comes that last moment of oof, light shining in your face, and you go, what? Oh, it's not finished. Ah. So to this last part, the resurrection light in your eyes all of a sudden part of the song. It's um, the two and the C major seven. That are sort of the, the main idea of this uh, song lights up chorus. Basically the pattern here is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But if you always have to have, even if you don't really do it with your hand, you sort of always have to have in your mind the idea of the movement, which is constant down, up, 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 and and it down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. See how my hand is still moving there because that's the ongoing rhythm that you really want to keep hold of. And it goes down, up, change, C major seven, two, two, C major seven, two, two, C major seven. One, two, three, four, two, two, C major seven, and three, 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 two, two, oh, two. So at the end, it's a whole bunch, a whole strumming pattern on three, 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 and then four, four, two, two, and then the da 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 is on the open. Da 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 da. So let's do the first three lines of that quite slowly. These walls at once lit up your smiles and made a fool of pain. Again. These walls at once lit up your smiles and made a fool. You don't have to strum it all at the end because it gets quieter. And then also same note again. Two, uh, sorry, oh, zero. And that's the end of the song. So the idea of the song is to have in the verse um, it's not a play, it's not a masterpiece, 
this tuk 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 like little droplets, little tears there, or droplets of a river, tuk 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 tuk, and above that the melody. And then it gets very lyrical when you arrive in the that I thought would be. of the whole verse so it's the same feelings again lyrical again and then the song sort of stops and then you have to have a pause where the person listening goes well, that, what's happening now is it over and then what do you think it's finished so hopefully you enjoy learning this a little something different the tabs are in the description and if, if you fancy becoming a supporter one of the very generous few making these uh, tutorials happen, then feel free to hop over to my Patreon.